We're going to explain how to access the user menu and the options in this menu. In the lower part of the screen, we can see five buttons. The first is the on off switch, the up and down arrows, which let us change settings, the menu button, and the OK button, which lets us confirm any changes we make. To enter the user mode, we press the menu button for about 15 seconds until the set time option appears on the display. Once we have accessed this option, we press the OK button. When we press this button, the hour, minutes and day will appear on the screen. To change the hour, we use the arrows. Once we have set the hour, we confirm by pressing the OK button and adjust the minutes using the same procedure as for the hour. We press OK and the option of confirming the day will appear. Once we have adjusted the day, we press the OK button. We can see the option Auto On Off. This function allows us to select the time when the machine will turn on automatically. We adjust it to the hour we want, doing the same with minutes. We confirm our choice by pressing the OK button and the option Off will appear. This option allows us to change the time when the machine powers off automatically. The procedure for changing this time is the same as that for the option Auto On Off. The next menu option is the option for Day Off. From the seven days of the week, we can choose the day which we don't want the machine to switch on. Once we have chosen the day, we confirm our choice and move on to the Counter option. This function tells us how many litres of water the machine has used, whether it be for coffee, tea or creating steam. By pressing the OK button, we move on to the option of Service, which tells us the number of times we have used any of the machine's service buttons. By pressing the OK button, the display tells us the number of coffees the machine has made. It only keeps track of the four buttons used to make coffee. Next, we will perform a reset for the coffee counters. We press the buttons for double espresso and double lungo at the same time and we keep this button pressed until the Reset Totals message flashes up on the screen. We press the OK button and the following option appears on the screen, providing individual information for each of the three group heads separately. And it tells us how many espressos, lungos, double espressos and double lungos have been made. Finally, we see information about the Continuous Measure button, which tells us how many times we've pressed this button. As for Group Head 1, we repeat the steps for the remaining group heads. We press the OK button and move on to the Hot Water option, which shows the number of times the Hot Water button has been pressed on the machine. This option is the last option in the machine's user menu.